So Daniel, it was so fabulous having you on the podcast the last episode. We dived into mindset and subconscious and how that's playing out in our lives. So you have beautifully offered to come back to do a subconscious healing for our listeners using your Enlighten Me box that you were talking about in the last episode. So why don't you talk a little bit about what we're about to go through? Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the Enlighten Me machine here and we're going to work on the subconscious level. Now, all of us are connected. The mind is connected. The subconscious mind is connected and it exists in this in this field. You can call this the quantum field. So we can access this field even though that we're not in the same room and we're not in the same place. We're not looking at each other. We can access this, this energy of the subconscious mind that we're all uh, that we all carrying and we're all involved in. So we're going to use the Enlighten Me here and its energy, first of all, to bring to awareness what are the biggest limiting beliefs, blockages that we're holding on to that are stifling our creativity, holding back our genius, uh, holding our, ourselves back from different levels or greater levels of success um, and even greater levels of self-belief. So we're going to spend, what, what would you say, maybe the next 15 minutes looking at some of these blockages, as I said, having an awareness of them is, you know, like nearly 80% of the healing. And then we're going to use the energy or the frequency that comes off the enlightenment to really pull that out of the subconscious mind, pull that out of the body. So we're no longer dealing with this. And it, it's a bit like a visualization. It's a bit like a meditation, but you don't, no one, you know, you don't need to do the work. I'll do all the work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say the blockage. I'm going to say the limiting belief. And you just could just visualize that going into uh, the sun. You could visualize that going into a black hole. And that's pretty much the process. And I'll just remember, these aren't affirmations. <laughs> they're, they're quite the opposite. But they're not going back into your subconscious mind because I'm using this enlightened frequency to pull them out. So as I say them, just imagine them coming out. Don't attach to them. Don't hold on to them. Just let them go and visualize them into the light or a black hole. And, and that's pretty much how it's going to go, Sam. Love it. Well, take it away. Okay, awesome. I'm just going to let everyone know ahead of time. It might be a little bit confronting as to what comes up. And just be aware of the feelings, but just let it go. Because as I say these beliefs, they might have a bit of a triggering effect because we've been holding on to them our whole life and worse, we've been believing that they are who we are, but just realize they're a non-truth. They're just a belief. It's just something we took on as we were growing up, as we were children. So my apologies in advance if it is a bit triggering, but it's important that we heal this. So, so uh, we're ready to get started. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm just going to get everyone just to take a couple or maybe three really nice deep breaths just to get us into a nice calm space. So let's just take a nice deep belly breath in. So breathing in through the nose and deep into, the, into our stomachs. And breathing out nice and slow. Take a nice, another deep breath in through the nose, another belly breath in. And out through the mouth again. And you might already start to feel yourself becoming still and gentle and calm. Another nice deep breath, belly breath in through the nose, into the belly. And out nice and slow through the mouth. And you can resume a nice rhythmic breath from now on. It's really important we do this work to have our nervous system calm and engages different parts of our brain. It's very important. So you can have your feet nice flat on the ground, your shoulders and back arched back. So you're, you're in a nice calm space where you're reinforcing to your nervous system that you are safe and what i'm going to do now and you might feel this 
And if you don't, it's totally fine, totally fine. But some of you might feel this. I'm going to bring this energy of the Enlightenment Machine to you, to everyone listening. I'm bringing it to Sam first. We'll see if Sam can feel that coming into her right now, filling her up with this energy. Great, that's coming up through her belly, into her chest, into her head and around her. So now I'm going to bring this energy now to everyone listening. You can keep your eyes closed if you like or open. You might feel a bit more with your eyes closed as you have a heightened awareness. And this energy is going to surround you, be part of you. It's there to support this shift, heightened awareness, and this release of these beliefs and blockages. So just bring your awareness around that sensation. It might feel a bit calm, a bit tingly, or nothing at all, and that's fine as well. We're all, many of you guys are all new to this, and we're doing something pretty amazing here as well. So as I'm getting connected now, so I'm going to use the enlightenment frequency to show up for me what are the blockages that we are carrying as a group. Okay, so this is what we have in common. So I'm looking at what are these beliefs that we have in common. And the first blockage that shows up, you might have an awareness of this, is everything I do is a waste of time. Everything I do is a waste of time. So we're healing that out. It's a puff of energy. It's not hardwired. And we're just going to visualize that puff of energy going into the sun or into a black hole. Everything I do is a waste of time. We're healing that out of us. And that's definitely a belief that slows us down and have us be very self-critical. Can you feel that one leaving, Sam? Is that coming out? Good. Feel lighter already. Okay. The next one we're going to work with is, let's see what shows up. I can't compete with others. It's a belief. I can't compete with others. Again, it's a non-truth. Well, for one, we're not here to compete with others. But just allow this belief to come up. Let it go. Visualize that going into a sun or a black hole. Can't compete with others. These are the beliefs that keep that chatter in the mind and keep that feelings, unpleasant feelings in the body and have us strive and push harder rather than being content with what we do and achieve. Okay, that one's now out as well. The next belief that we're going to have that's showing up here is I need to do more to succeed. I need to do more to succeed. Big one for those of us who are a bit ambitious in life. Well, that fuels the ambition. I need to do more to succeed. So pulling that out, allowing that to come out of us effortlessly, no longer needing to hold on to these beliefs. They aren't serving us anymore. I can feel Samantha being happy with that one leaving. Beautiful. All right. So that's, that's, we've just done three subconscious limiting beliefs there. And you might be feeling lighter. You might not. To me, I can just feel calmer and more relaxed that I'm not being driven by these programs. These are like coding programs within us that drive us in all different directions. Okay, we're going to keep going. The next subconscious limiting belief that I'm seeing in here is I have to compare myself to other people. It's just the belief I have to compare myself to other people. Pulling that out, removing that as we're speaking. It's never who you are. It's just an idea we latched onto a thought. You'll find these thoughts such as frequencies that move through the Earth's atmosphere and space and time, and we latch onto them and identify with them, but they are not who we are. Just like a puff of smoke moving around us, letting it go. Great work, everyone. Really great. All right, the next one we're going to be working with, the next blockage that's showing up is I am not successful. I am not successful is the belief. Now, again, a non-truth, 
that has us not see our greatness and our accomplishments and has us not feel everything that we have done and has us keep needing more. I'm not successful because so clearing this belief out. I'm not successful removing that out of us, letting that go into the sun or a black hole. Definitely stops us from seeing our all the great things that we've done in our life. Oh, that felt better. That one's gone. Okay, let's do another one. I'm not needed. This is a big one that gets in the way of small business owners putting their offerings out there. I'm not needed. Let's clear that belief out. I'm not needed. I'm not needed. I'm not needed. Clearing that out into the sun of black hole, letting that go. Very hard to speak confidently about your offerings if that belief is in the background. Beautiful. Letting that one go. Some of you are holding on to that one still. Let's see what I can do there to help you move that. What's not needed is these beliefs. We don't need these beliefs. Let that go. Good work. All right, we'll do a few more. Let's see what the next belief there is. Money doesn't like me. Money doesn't like me. So clearing out that belief, money doesn't like me. We don't want that, do we? That's going to get in the way of uh, flow. Clearing money doesn't like me. Letting that go out into the sun or a black hole. Next belief that showing up his money is hard to come by. Money is hard to come by. Letting that go. The next belief there, a nasty one here, is I'm not worthwhile. I'm not worthwhile. I'm not worthwhile, letting that go. Now, some of us think we need these beliefs to propel us forward, that they give us reasons to do things and be ambitious. And whilst they might have created that, we don't need them anymore. They're now getting in the way. I'm not worthwhile clearing that out of ourselves. It's not a truth. We don't want non-truths hanging around. They create dysfunction in our life. Okay, beautiful. Well done. Okay, a couple more I'm feeling. Next one is people don't like what I do. Uh, it sets up all the perfectionists in this world, that little belief. Creates a bit of OCD, trying to get everything right. So this is the belief, people don't like what I do. Clearing that out. And that one is also very associated or largely associated with people don't like who I am. Clearing that out, people don't like what I do, people don't like who I am. And all of that is coming from I don't like who I am. I don't like who I am, clearing that belief. I don't like what I do, letting that one go as well. And getting to a very important one is I don't like me. Some of these nasty ones at the root of these other beliefs. I don't like me. Letting that go. I don't like what I'm capable of. And this one, I don't like what makes me important. I don't like what makes me important. And associated with that is I'm not important. Not important, clearing that out as well. 
Another one here that's showing up is I don't belong. I don't belong. And the one that we'll finish on right now is I need to belong. I need to belong. I need to belong. Mm. And another one wanting to be here. Sorry, we're going on. I'm being shown. No, next one we're going is I need success. I need success. I need success. So just a belief. I need success. Causes all kinds of chaos, this one. I need success. I'm not successful. I'm not who I need to be. I'm not who I'm meant to be. And I don't belong as me. I don't belong as me. And just, I will just take a moment to just do an extra healing layer there just to make sure they're out. So give me one second. Clearing all those out, everything that we've just brought to awareness, releasing that, allowing that out of every level of our being, out of every cell of our body, out of every level of our consciousness, removing that now from past, present and future. Let's bring all of that out of us now so we can move forward effortlessly and successfully and self-lovingly. And just breathing all of that old stuff out Visualizing that leaving you in its entirety. There we go. Beautiful. And slowly bringing your awareness back to back to our little session here, our little conversation. Daniel, that was amazing. For people that didn't hear on the last episode, where can they learn more about what you do and learn more about the Enlighten Me machine? Ah, oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah, definitely come to intuitionwisdom.com. Uh, we can share all these amazing techniques about clearing the subconscious mind and raising awareness and uh, and accessing all that beautiful truth and wisdom within. And, uh, of course, the Enlighten Me machine, intuitionwisdom.com. Love it. Thank you so much for taking us through that beautiful collective process. I look forward to hearing you and I look forward to hearing you as the listener sharing your experiences through that beautiful session, let's call that, because I think that that is going to only raise the collective consciousness and take us all to where we need to be. Thanks so much again, Daniel. Beautiful. Thanks for having me, Sam. Bye, everyone.